Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the uh, observations and uh, small review of um, what I must say is a boring build of Windows 10. Um, basically, um, first things first, yesterday late in the day Microsoft released a new build for insiders in the fast ring. It's the build 14257. So as you see here in the watermark on the bottom right, Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview. In my case, if you're in a home, well, you got the home Insider Preview. Evaluation copy built 14257 RS1, which means Redstone 1. Release 161.31.1800. So that's the latest build that we have. And why I say it's boring, it's boring because it doesn't really add anything new from the last build. But uh, still, a lot of you want to know what I think of the latest builds every time. And I think it's you know still interesting to look at and also um, talk about the differences. Now, if you're wondering what the hell is the wallpaper I got on the screen? Well, I decided to put the uh, insider preview picture that they offer for free on the download. Um, basically, um, last year, for those that might have remembered, um, the insider preview started with a ninja cat on a T-Rex. And because of Chinese New Year now upon us, they've uh, redone the hard work. And uh, the insider preview now has this uh, ninja monkey to replace the ninja cat. So um, what's new? Nothing much. Uh, look, I went through the um, Microsoft Edge browser. I went through the different menus here in the Microsoft Edge browser to see what's happening. Is there something that I've missed? I haven't seen anything different. Uh, of course, Edge version is different uh, in the advanced uh, setup, nothing new. I know that a team has um, said that they do see that the underlying um, features of adding um, extensions and add-ons to Edge is starting to take form, meaning that um, it's apparently going to arrive very soon. And Microsoft, well, actually, somebody inside Microsoft did say that um, Edge extensions is, oh, uh, yes, coming quite soon. So we're going to check out on that. Uh, it's going to be fun to have those. As far as the start menu, anything else? I haven't seen anything. Um, I try to find you know, differences. I try to check different stuff. I don't see anything new in this build. It is amazingly stable. So that's one of the things that uh, is amazing. You know, and the uh, last year when we were having builds of Windows 10, a lot of problems were happening and uh, a lot of crashes and a lot of unusual stuff. These are pretty darn stable and uh, for that uh, I gotta say this is surprising. Now they're working on the core and that's why there's not a lot of uh, things that are new basically. Some of you have asked me okay but what is it that they're working on the core? One of the big big issues that they are actually working on in this uh, Windows 10 core is the fact that the way that the system was made to actually uh, look at underlying problems, bug fixes, and fix the bugs would take an awful lot of time at Microsoft before it would actually uh, work. So they are actually removing what is an old way of functioning on that and replacing it with something that is much more uh, interesting and fast so that the bug fixes can go at a faster pace so there's a lot of things like that. There's a lot of uh, also, um, you know, old bug reports that Windows can give that are haven't changed in, you know, years and years of Windows. And also that is another thing. They are changing the way of the bug reports that Microsoft Windows itself can give out when something's happening. 
to uh, kind of make it more understandable and faster to review. Of course, stabilization, you know, there's a lot of the, um, you know, the data that they receive, the telemetry from the Windows all around the world is really, really giving a lot of insight into what in Windows is broken or not. You know, Windows can have things that are broken even if you don't even see it day to day while you're using it. But the telemetry they get tells them a lot of stuff. So they are working hard on making it even better um, so that, you know, it is as stable as they can. It is the best that they can. And, you know, getting it really ready for the uh, Redstone release, which is stated for June. Uh, and we already know that, you know, there's going to be less stuff happening in this. Now, what's happening with this um, insider build? Well, there are some issues. So um, if you add on to um, the insider build post, so um, let's check here for uh, the uh, build. 14257 blog post from Microsoft. I uh, didn't actually bring it on first. So uh, here's the blog post. And um, not a lot of new stuff, but what they are talking about is here uh, that they, are, they have fixed some issues. So here are some of the issues that were reported by insiders and bug fixes. Uh, periodic app crashes and other memory related app errors due to memory manage management uh, a change has been resolved um, also uh, the connect button now shows up again in the action center so that's the uh, little button here where you can connect to uh, any wireless networks and stuff it's back F12 developer tool will now load correctly in Microsoft Edge. So when you actually press the F12 key, this is the developer tool that they're mentioning about. It uh, stopped working at some point in um, the past builds, but this is mostly for you know more advanced users. Uh, the fixed issue where the suggested apps were being shown on the start menu, even though occasionally show suggestion in a, in start was turned off. So. Uh, you know that's the feature where when we click here there could be a suggestion of an app for you uh, and uh, that would still work even if you said well I don't want to have that on my uh, start screen the fixed issues uh, um, where if you try to change your lock screen picture with get fun facts tips tricks and more on your lock screen uh, turned on it will revert back to the default Fix an issue where the positions of desktop icons get uh, jumbled up after switching DPI settings 100, 150, 175. Fixed issues where uh, pasting a uh, file into a zip file, compressed folder in File Explorer by either right click or control view would not work. Should be able to paste tiles into new zip just fine now. But as always, there are some issues in this new build. If you choose reset this PC under settings, update security and recovery, your PC will be in an unusable state. There is no workaround if your PC gets into this state and you will need to reinstall Windows. The issue will be fixed in the next build. Next build, you can still roll back to the previous build if for some reason this build doesn't work for you. The bug also existed in 14.2.5.1, so please avoid resetting your PC on these builds. So no reset of your PC right now if you're on these builds. You can go back in time or just do a reinstall. The uh, wsclient.dll error dialog is still there. Uh, they're working on a fix, but uh, for now there's still that workaround, which is that command line. Front-facing camera is unusable on PCs with Intel RealSense, resulting in being unable to use Windows Hello. So that breaks Windows Hello for those that were using it. After logging into your PC, you may, may hit a UI issue in which airplane mode will incorrectly show as on, even though your PC's Wi-Fi is powered, powered on. So uh, here, airplane mode is off in my case, but it does... Uh, doesn't show on but it, it's possible that you see it on on this build and that it actually um, is 
going to have uh, an issue. And uh, UI for airplane mode essentially does not wait long enough for the device's physical radios to power on before reporting the current state. You can toggle the airplane mode on and off to get airplane, airplane mode back to showing the correct state. As always, thank you for being Microsoft Insiders. So, um, of course, you can uh, use the Windows Feedback app. Apart from that, nothing new uh, here. If you want, when you go to this uh, page, you can click to the download the Appy Year of the Monkey from Windows Insider program right there. Uh, put it at whatever you want, maybe in your desktop background or so on. So uh, it's pretty cool. It's a uh, very stable build. Nothing really to complain about. Nothing to say about it. Really boring, actually. I uh, I'm starting to, uh, you know, be a little uh, <laughs> anxious that we get builds where there's going to be something to talk about uh, eventually. You know, new features that I will be able to uh, dive in or stuff like that. But apart from that, very stable. If you want to uh, really go to this uh, new build in the fast ring as insiders, as always, if you wonder if you should be an insider that means you should not because if you're thinking of being an insider that means that you should not be an insider an insider is a tech enthusiast like me that knows he wants to be in the program and please don't use a main computer as an insider machine you need to have a separate computer that is only for insider previews please do not use a main computer for that as you could have a lot of crashes you know I've seen some people giving me uh, you know some uh, bad language and some uh, being mad at me because uh, they were you know having problems with insider programs uh, preview builds and uh, saying well you know this is no good and blah 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 well look insider previews are for that testing it's not a version of Windows that you're gonna get it's really there for testing so uh, if you can't cope with the fact that you might need to reinstall Windows you should not be an insider so that's pretty much what I have to say for this preview still nothing new for now and um, but it's very stable works well the install went well everything seems to be going pretty fine for me if you enjoyed my videos why not subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online um, give us thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, something you'd like to know about Windows, something you'd like to see in a video, why not ask away? It's uh, I'm here for that. So thank you for watching.